Welcome to another episode of What's in My Husband's Lunchbox. And he is six foot five, was 350 pounds, now 207. And this is give you an idea of what he'll have for a typical breakfast and lunch. So for breakfast, he'll have his breakfast wrap. Those who uh, watch or follow us know what's in his breakfast wrap, so I won't get into that. And then the lunch, the main meal now is after all the holidays, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So now we're into the new year and my husband and I, um, for the last several years have had a mindset to, we don't gain weight in the winter time to where we have to stress in the summertime about trimming it off so that to our main thing is while he's at lunch he's not gonna you know starve so this will tie him over until he gets home he'll have his protein shake his midday and vanilla is the only one that we have left so vanilla one it is and then after that we have a bunch of uh protein powders that we bought a while back. We have chocolate, we have vanilla, we have uh, peanut butter, like powdered peanut butter. We have, um, I think it's cinna, like a cinna, cinnabon one. And we're gonna go through those cause for one, they cost us a good penny. So we're gonna use those up before we buy more pre made mixes. So after this, we'll go back to the powdered ones until all those are done and then get some more uh, liquid ones to substitute and then for his actual lunch we had cheese ravioli tonight with grilled chicken and alfredo sauce so of course we had a container sitting on the counter and we transitioned and put that into the lunch so on the bottom a little bit i think it just one two, maybe nine pieces of cheese ravioli and the alfredo sauce, a little bit of dry parsley, and seasoned grilled chicken breast that we cooked in the air fryer. Two breasts cut on top, and that's what he's having tomorrow for his breakfast and lunch. Well, thank you all for watching, and have a good night wherever you are. Now I'm going to transition into for my YouTube follower question was... um. How do they put it? The macaroni salad looks good. You should do a, you know, post a recipe. So, I, I got gotcha, you, viewer who wanted a macaroni salad recipe. So, let me scoot this out the way. Let me just put the lid on that. All right. And let me hold it so you can see it. My counter's wet. Get my recipe wet. See if you can see that. Now, I'm going to read it off just in case it comes off blurry, but it's uh, the original recipe that we have was 16 ounces of elbow macaroni, a quarter cup of chopped red onion, a half of an English cucumber dice. Now, if you want to use celery, you can, I'm guessing, but we've always used uh, cucumber. We just like it. And you know how like celery has those ribs, the rib ribbing stuff on it? My husband doesn't care for that, so we use English cucumber, which we really like. Dried parsley, one tablespoon of that, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one half cup of mayo, an eighth teaspoon of garlic, five tablespoons, heaping tablespoon of capers, rinsed and chopped, a half a cup of jarred um, roasted red pepper and some sharp cheddar cheese and you're going to cook the pasta to tender but not overcooked and drain and rinse with cold water and while the pasta cooks you're going to mix your onion cucumbers lemon juice dijon your mayo your garlic capers parsley and pepper together now if you use salt and pepper by all means, season this to your taste. We do not um, because we like to control our sodium. And if I, we want pepper, we put it on at the end 
or if we want a pinch of salt in it, we'll put it in at the end while we're eating because we, to us, the cheddar cheese has enough salt in it and capers, if you've never tried capers before, they're like a light floral salty bite. So with, between the capers and the cheese, to us, it's enough usually. But if you want some more, the ball means you salt and pepper it to your taste. And then once you mix that together, you're going to put it in a refrigerator because the more this sets, the better off it'll get. You're going to put your your mix, your mixture in the, in the refrigerator. We do it in a large glass bowl and then just cover it. And then once the pasta gets done and drained, we add it to, to the mayo mixture, toss it up, and refrigerate it. If you can make it the night before, even better. Now, we've noticed also, and I'm going to give you a little tip after I tell you this. The cheddar cheese, we grate it on top or put it on top just before we serve it instead of mixing it into the mix. That's another one of our preference. Now, I want to give you the slim down version of what was in that recipe or in that video that I showed you. So, hold on one second. Let me move this out the way and I'll grab some things out the refrigerator that we actually used. Okay, so the modified version of this recipe, which I did forget one thing. That's, um, one more second. Okay, now we're ready. I kept asking my husband, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Okay, modified version. Now, me and my husband eat macaroni salad. Our son does not. So, we're not going to fix 16 ounces worth of macaroni salad. And what we had was this little container here. As you can see towards my hand and this mason jar had a mixed amount of pina pasta regular size and mini size and what we did was we did had a small pot of water and we had added the pasta from this and this container because it was this leftover pasta so more little story is you can use elbow macaroni if you want to you can use um, bow tie pasta. We've made it with bow tie pasta before. You can use penne pasta. Those are the ones that are the corkscrew looking um, pasta. The ones that look like little mini corkscrews. Uh, Tri-colored corkscrew pasta. All that will work um, that you can use. You can also cut this down now. The quarter cup of onion you could use a quarter cup or half of that. We like a lot of red onion in ours, so we dice it up. And I do put uh, almost a quarter cup in there. The English cucumber, same, half of that. Now, it was a small English cucumber. It wasn't like, you know, get you one that's and put to your preference. But I like, and so does my husband, a lot of cucumber. Because if, if you watch or follow us, we like to bulk up. A lot of our meals with our veg to make it stretch out farther so it's not so much of the pasta so of course we're going to put the english cucumber so half of the english cucumber dried parsley now in the summer we have a garden and it has you know we have raised garden beds and it has a uh, parsley in a container so if it was in the summer and i had fresh parsley i would definitely put fresh parsley versus the dried it's winter time we're going to use dried parsley. I did not put the lemon juice in there. And here's another one. We do not usually use Dijon mustard. It's very rare. But we have spicy brown mustard. And I'm going to be honest, it says one tablespoon. Of course, you wouldn't put that much in a small batch if I had half of this. If I had to guess, I think I put a tablespoon in there. So I would try with a tablespoon if you're cutting this down, especially if you're a small you know, family, um, you don't need a whole pound of macaroni salad. So start out with maybe just a level tablespoon because you can always add, but you can't take it out. But this is what we use instead of Dijon. And like I said, a half. I would start out with a half of a, you know, of a tape. Maybe even do a teaspoon. Do a teaspoon and see before adding a full more of this. Now, here it says one and a half cups of mayo. We, <laughs> and I'm laughing because what I did, I was like, okay, we got this little bit of pasta, right? And let's eyeball it. So, I took 
a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. And I added, because I used the pina pasta. Now, pina pasta is the, you know, it's going to have the cavity. So, a lot of your sauce is going to go in the cavity. That's why I use a cup. And I literally looked in the refrigerator. We have a huge um, condiment drawer. And these are literally the three more of what I, gra I grabbed. We had one of these, one from this place and a Heinz mayonnaise and I literally put that in and stirred it up now if you don't mind the taste and you're used to Greek yogurt you could try all Greek yogurt with just the spicy mayo I mean the spicy brown mustard or if you're using Dijon either one give it a taste if you want we love my I love mayonnaise so this right here kind of spreads that Greek yogurt out to give it that mayonnaise taste without putting one and a half cups of mayonnaise all right and then your garlic powder one eighth teaspoon of garlic powder we put that in there and five capers now what if you've never seen capers that's what they look like they look like little little green pearls or green peas you're going to pour those into like a little colander and you're going to run water over them and rinse them we did not chop ours up, and this is the little colander that we use, this little baby colander, and dry those. Our jarred, whatever brand that you like, we just like this brand, jarred um, roasted red peppers, same thing, drain them in a the colander. Now, we did kind of dice those up a little bit. I didn't measure it. I just kind of took a couple forks out, and we diced, 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 and scraped them over into the... Uh, Greek yogurt mixture and of course you do the rest of the directions you put your pasta in there for us instead of mixing that cheese in right and you if you want to use uh, Kobe Jack cheese you could use that you could use extra sharp cheddar you could use low fat cheddar cheese we just happen to have a block of sharp cheddar that we had to get through so what we do is except for mixing it all in there can't control the portions as we divvy it out our macaroni salad we just take our grater and shred a little bit over the top and that's the recipe and of course if you go to take it out now we've noticed it doesn't absorb as much the uh greek yogurts like mayonnaise does it doesn't absorb all the way into our pasta but if you find that it's a little bit not as moist that you want it to be then what i suggest to do is add a little bit just before you go to serve it add a little bit more greek yogurt just to hydrate it and there you go and it is absolutely delicious and i want to show you one more thing to change it up so you get tired of eating it like this grill you up some broccoli or steam you up some broccoli dice it and add broccoli to it um we've added if you want a little bit of spicy add some red pepper flake to it that way you could kind of change it up this right here absolutely favorite we sprinkle some of this thai style green curry spice blend over the top of it one of our absolutely favorites